Hello everyone, Echo Linear. How are you? Are you fine? Are you doing good? Good job, you should do, you should really do. You should still survive, alright? You need to survive. Surviving is a really important matter in our lives. So, since you will survive, you will be able to pay for this template. So, it's important. I'm not really a selfish person, don't get me wrong, but we really need to get this thing going, guys, and we really need to get this payment done. Alright, thank you very much. Now, let's continue. Today, we are going to uh, talk about two additional mods that I was able to code. Thankfully, like after two months, you see, it's getting a lot of time and effort, but that's fine. We are going slowly at where I'm supposed to go. All right, so let's start, All right? The first thing we will check will be the simultaneous mode. Simultaneous mode is basically what we call, um, you know, Simul in Mugen terms at least. This is where you get all the fighters in the team in the scene at the same time as the name suggests. So let's check what's going on. All right. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Before we move on, let me tell you about more in the team setup. Uh, the previous video I didn't talk a lot about this because it wasn't really big of an importance, but here it is. What team setup does is it allows you to actually obviously it's seen, but let me explain in detail. What it does is first, of course, it lets you uh, lets you decide how many uh, fighters you would like to have on the scene, and most importantly, which controllers should control them in the first place, such as fighters. I mean, such as players. Apologize for that. So, when we look at, for example, Team 1 here, you see that Fighter 1 is controlled but by Player 1. That is fine, but what if you want to uh, have the second fighter controlled by, for example, Player 3 or Player 2, for example. So, in this case, you would have to do this. Now, notice that they are the Team 2 Fighter 1 controller and Team 1 Fighter 2 controller are shining red. That means there is a problem. If you look at it closely, you will see that it's rather obvious. You see, you want to uh, control two fighters at the same time uh, with uh, the same player. It doesn't work that way in the simultaneous as they are all in the same scene. So what are we going to do is pretty much simple. We need to correct this one. So let's say you want Team 2 be Team 2 to be completely like, um, AI controlled. Why not? That's it. Uh, your problem is fixed. Now, as you see, the reason I have this team setup, which we don't have in another in other fighting games, is that uh, I'm making a template. I need it to be as complex as it can be. So you can have all kind of uh, fighting game styles that you want in your games. Of course, we will get to a point where uh, I will be discussing on how to reduce that number. For example, like completely removing team setup from your game. So, uh, like players don't need to take care of this. Like maybe you want to have a one versus one game. That's a simple game that you want to create with my template. That is fine. We will get to that point eventually. Don't worry. But on the other hand, you can have all kind of possibilities like combinations you could imagine. Basically, let's say you want to, for example, have uh, four versus one, like four players against one big AI. In this, in this case, you would do this: increase the fire con fighter count to four, assign all the controllers of them, just like I'm doing here. All right, and you would get team two to only one. If you are coming from a Mugen, the uh, fighting game engine, uh, the old one that is, you would notice that the simultaneous uh, gameplay doesn't allow you to lower the fighter count to one. It's always two because, just as the name suggests, there should be more than one fighter in the scene for each team. But I think that's a little meaningless limitation. So I decided to keep it as one. Uh, too. That is fine, I believe. So you could have this 4 versus 1 uh, fun game you want with your friends if you really want to have such a thing, alright? So let's keep things uh, simple for now, just for the showcase purposes. I'm getting everything back to where they should. And so let's have Fighter 2 in here. Okay, so we got one player for each team, and the other fighters are controlled by AI. This is fine. Let's confirm. 
<coughs> for the showcase purposes once again, we are going to have Eul Ken and Ken basically. Because I didn't really develop all the other parties. Also, please ignore the rainbow can, alright? He's just extremely happy, alright? Alright, just calm down. He's not gay. He's extremely happy, alright? Don't worry. Ken is not gay. That's an important part, alright? Don't get the wrong idea. I'm watching you. Good. Thank you. Alright. <coughs> Round one. Fight. There you go. You have it. Now. As you see, we got two per two fighters here on each team. It's quite nice, but what if you want to have them all together? Well, let's see. What is the limit, basically? Let's see. Let's increase the team count to four. That is fine. That is alright. That's balanced, alright? Let's increase all the fighter, uh, all the fighters amount to four for each team. That is fine. That's okay. Look, okay. Just calm down. All right. And um, just one thing that I forgot to show you regarding the team setup. I will be very quick. Notice that when there is a problem as a red shining on the system, uh, the confirm button is grayed out. This is a good way to let the um, the organizer of the game to realize that there's a problem in case they are not able to see the red shining for some reason all right so that's something to keep in mind as well these are not easy to code you know you better appreciate it you better do all right good all right this is going to take a lot of time to choose so i'm going to be fast <clears throat> Yay, so many people. Round one. Fight. There you go. This is quite the balanced game. Don't worry. I'm sure you can handle that one as well, but that's the current limit I'm assigning to the templates. Should we do more? I don't know. I don't think so. This is good enough. Alright. Now, there's one thing you can notice. You see, let me pause the game. You see, there are a lot of uh, demon cans, Chinese, and dance. But you see, there's a problem. We don't know which palette belongs to which sidekick, such as which Dan is here as uh, the number states. But in here, you see that the can has no such a problem, the regular can that is. You know, the first one is red, the other one is. Extremely happy can the other one is kind of a spacey can we are going to get to that point so How do we fix this problem you notice that I could select the same palette over and over again for each uh, Fighter so that's why they are all same. So how would you prevent this? So in order to avoid such problems happening I made a small system called sidekick palettes. you see first one being is the red red one being for example for the can I'm speaking is the main palette the other one is sidekick one sidekick two and sidekick three don't worry they are very easy let me show how to do it now let's get to can where is the can 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 okay okay there is something called selection data in my template, which uh, calls the da data of all the selection information, such as palettes, outfits ID, well, characters themselves, obviously. Let's get to it. It will be easy. Don't worry. This is not a tutorial. This is just a showcase. So if you don't miss, if you don't understand it, don't worry about that. You got the chat. I'm sure you can handle that. Let's see. Okay. Do you see there's one path data? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, let me show you in game what they are about. Let me re revert to single mode to make this easy for you. Okay. Now, do you see the red over there? 
sorry, uh, not this, apologize, not this one, this one. Do you see the colors over there? Let me make it larger. Yeah, you see, the color mark belongs to these, all right? So the first one is red, second one is purple, the third one is blue, and so on. You understand what it means. Now, from what you see, there are uh, material instances are uh, basically what Unreal has as what to show as visually color wise. So they are just the materials on the objects on the scene. So as you see, the main character has one, the sidekick one has one, another one, sidekick has two, has another one. Of course, the three has the rainbow once again, just for the showcase purposes. Now you notice that. Let's look at. You probably can't notice it here, but let me show you in Demon Can. It will be better. Give me a second. Z, Z. Right. Again, selection data. You see, Demon Can has only two palettes right now. And notice that main character has the palette one. Uh, you see from the name, palette one, Demon Can. And again, palette one, demon can, palette one, demon can, and so on. The names are same. That's why you are seeing the same palette over them, and that's not. That's why the same problem doesn't exist in the can. I believe it's clear enough. If it is not, don't worry. We are going to get the departure eventually. As I said, not a tutorial, just a showcase. Okay. Now let's get to the other play mode because I know we are not satisfied with just one play mode finished. You, you are never satisfied. You are just someone like that. You know, you want everything in the universe. Don't worry, you are going to get them eventually. Right. Next play mode called turns. This is basically what King of Fighters has. All right, so let me show you showcase that, and you will understand. Okay, let's keep the team count at two as well. No need to show it as four. You already know how balanced, how awesome, how insanely beautiful it is when there are sixteen fighters in the scene. I know you agree. You are a good person. You are good. You are doing good. All right. All right. The first thing you are going to realize in the team setup is that we can have as much as controller we have. No, it doesn't matter how many we have. Uh, as same ones, like the similar part. The reason is that since we have only one controller in the uh, in the, we have only one fight in the uh, game. So for that, for each team, uh, it will be a no problem to have multiple controllers. Uh, for multiple fighters, of course. So, you since let's take it like this. Let me explain it in a more clear manner. If the fighter one falls of team one, of course we are going to get to the second round, and in the second round it will be the team fighter two with the player one controller. So that's fine. You see, it doesn't really make a problem. You don't have that problem with king of fighters, so you won't have it here. Of course, you can have it. Uh, like multiple controllers for one fighter as well. So, like, if you want to, let's say, just for an example, you want to have a fight for like two fighters in two teams, each of them. All right. So you want to have player one and player two in team one, and you want to have player three and player four in team two. So you can have something like this as well, or you can increase the amount to have an. AI controller too, or you can have like you know uh, one one team full of uh, players controllers, the actual players, and the other ones can be also artificial intelligence as you see, like this. There's no problem on that. As you see, the whole purpose of team setup is give you the options that you would like to have for your fighting game. That's it. That's simple as that. Let's revert things to old self. Alright. And let's give the controllers to their old selves and confirm. Now let's select once again. This time I'm going to uh, select Dan and Chan Li as well. In seconds. All right. Here we have an extra menu that we need to be able to order our uh, fighters. Maybe you didn't want to have them in the same order like you chosen. So this is where 
things get slightly bit complicated, but if you are familiar with the King of Fighters or other battle tank style uh, fighting games, this is something uh, quite familiar for you. See, it asks for you to select and most importantly you have medium punch and heavy punch, heavy punch and medium punch to select your characters. So, I will first, uh, we will focus on uh, the team one right now. So, I will select Dan as uh, the first character. Let's see, I'm selecting, I'm clicking on the medium punch for the player one controller. Alright. Notice that the second member already get automatically selected because it's the last one anyway. There's no need to make the player selected as the system already checks for that one. Alright. So, despite the fact that I chose Ken as first one, in the character sec select screen, I will have Ken. Uh, sorry, I will have Dan as the first character in the fighting stage. All right. See, Dan is at the first one right now. Round one. Fight. That's it. All right. So, what if you would have more than two players? Then it's simple. Let me show you once again. So for that, forgot to increase it. All right, three players, three players. That is fine. Let's have. Chang and then once again, why not? They are the only ones that I made anyway. The other ones are not working, I'm sorry. I don't have that much time. And this one has Chang Chang, you let it have done. Okay. Well, of course, the colors are taken because they, are, they belong to other team members. That is fine. Okay. See? The system changes according to your desires, basically, so if you ever want to have such a flexible system, it's already implemented. Don't worry about that. Stay cool, alright? Now, let's say... Currently, I selected with the heaven punch, and with the light punch, I will select Dan, and the Chani will be, as you see, third member. That is fine, alright? First member will be Dan. Mm. Let me see, heavy punch will be, and yeah, alright, that's the way I want it. I'm going to show you something, we, we are already so long for about it. Is it? Round one, fight! Okay, now when the Dan, Hibi Dan Hibiki dies, the demon can will arrive, let me show you that quickly. Also, excuse the Chinese sprite that is behind, you know. As I said, I'm not really, I don't really have time to develop all the characters. KO. Okay. Excuse it, alright? Yeah, does it! Like, come on. Round two. Fight. As uh, in the King of Fighters, when the next uh, fighter arrives, uh, he will make the outro, uh, sorry, he will make the intro as well, alright? That's what I wanted to showcase you, and you, you can see that the health bars uh, update according uh, to the line of the next uh, fighter. Normally, you wouldn't want to see the uh, health bars of the fighters in the turns mode, which is like a King of Fighters style, but that's fine. It's easy to change, so I don't really touch it, but that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see to it that we will have the final game mode as well, which will be like the Marvel vs. Concom. Marvel vs. Concom, sorry for that. And we will have lots of assists, like fighter switches. Hopefully it will be bug free. I don't expect to be, but thank you for your time, alright? Bye bye.